What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What is poppy YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dove Ass Panna. If you are new to my channel, make sure you guys click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for some of the best tutorials on YouTube. I'm also kind of funny sometimes too. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. Today guys, we are going to be doing a butterfly lock bob. This video is sponsored by the Janet Collection. I'm going to be using their Nala Trust three times butterfly locks. It comes in the length 10, 12, and 14. And this makes it so that you're able to do a blunt bob. So when you take the lock out, it comes with a loop at the top. This is crochet hair and they are already pre-made. And so we're gonna go ahead and crochet this into my client's hair. So I start off by plaiting my client's entire head and I'm going to be crocheting these locks in individually. I've already said on my channel why I like to do individual locks versus the typical crochet method where you would cornrow your client's hair. I feel like especially with locks, they can get really full looking and this individual method just makes them lay a lot more flatter and look a lot more natural. So so let's get into the installation for these locks. All right, so I'm gonna take the crochet hook and put it through the top of my client's braid. I'm then gonna pull that lock through using the loop, and then I'll take the end of the lock and I'm going to pull that through the loop as well as my client's braid. This can be a little tricky, guys, because sometimes that loop at the top is really small, but I'm, I am gonna show you guys a trick at the end of this video to kind of help out with that, so make sure you guys stick around for that. So guys, once I take that, it's time to hide my client's braid. And to do that, I'm gonna take my crochet hook and put it down the middle of the lock. This should be really easy, guys. Once you should insert it, you will really feel how easy it is to slide that hook through the middle. And then I'm gonna latch my client's braid into the crochet hook, and I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to pull that through the middle of the lock. You may have to do this in sections. Sometimes the lock is hard to like pull the hair through. So you may have to do like the top section and then the bottom section. It really doesn't matter how many times you do it just as long as you fully hide your client's braid this is how you are going to yeah tuck it into the lock so that it looks natural A lot of people ask about the takedown method for this. I actually have a takedown video that I'm going to be dropping right after this. My client had a longer version of these locks, and so I'm going to show you guys how to take it down because it's actually really easy. Once you guys cut the loop at the top, you should be able to slide it off. I feel like the most challenging thing is actually finding that loop at the top. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that in that video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So guys, let's talk about the lengths that this hair comes in, the 10, 12, and 14. The amazing thing about having these lengths is you can create a blunt bob. And so basically to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off with the 10 inch locks at the bottom. When you get to the middle of your client's head or like those mid sections, you're gonna go in with the 12. And when you get to the top, you're gonna go in with the 14. And so that's what I did on Kenley today. These first two rows at the bottom and the first row on the sides, I did the 10 in all of the middle I did a 12 and at the top especially where it crosses over to the other side I did a 14 and that will make your locks all fall around the same length and that's how you really get that blunt bob look if you get all of your locks one size and you install them at one size when you get to the top they're gonna be a lot shorter right just because it's more of a length from like the top of your head to the shoulders or wherever the rest of the locks will fall so you're not really gonna get that blunt bob look so that's the amazing thing about this hair to complete this look, it took me it took two packs of hair. So I used um, I think two of the 10 inch and two of the 12 inch and then one of the 14 because the 14 I really only put at the very top to fall and you can kind of hold the locks up at whatever section you want to put them and see how they will fall and that will determine how much you need to use. But honestly, you get so much hair in these packs that it's definitely worth it. I know a lot of people ask where they can purchase this hair, and I have seen it before at my local beauty supply. I will also leave an online link for you guys if I can find one, so make sure you guys check the description section for that. I always try to link all of the products that I'm using. But like I said, this hair was sent to me by the Janet Collection, so I'm not sure how much it costs individually. I see it at different prices online, and I'm going to start doing um, online beauty supply hauls for you guys just so I can tell you guys the best places to shop for hair but I do always try to get a link for you guys if I can 
So I absolutely love these locks. These butterfly locks do look a little bit different than some of the others that I have shared on my channel because it has more of that like curly, messy look to it. And I really, really love that. I'm, I'm still trying to get my locks that I wrap to have this type of texture and to look this way. So that's what I really, really love about these. They look so super natural. Like I said, just be careful when you're installing locks in the crochet style because putting too much of these can look really bulky and super fake. And actually with Kenley, I wish I had put a little bit less than what I put, but sometimes it's hard to do that just because you have to make sure that your parts and your braids are small enough to pull through the middle of the lock or just to crochet through. So you kind of have to play around with that, but these can get really, really bulky and fake looking if you guys use too much of this hair. So like I said, really one to two packs should be enough to complete this style for you. So I let you guys know I was going to show you guys a little trick that I do to um, help with the top of those locks because some of those are literally impossible to pull through. And I actually don't know if this is what you're supposed to do anyway, but if you look at the top of the lock, there's going to be a little piece that is wrapped around the top of the lock. I'm going to take my scissors and cut that little piece off. And I know it's hard to see it, but when you look at the lock, you'll see what I'm talking about. It looks like a little band. So once you take that off, you'll be able to expand that loop at the top if you kind of just play around with it and open it up. And and it'll be a lot bigger so now you guys can see how big that loop is and this makes it so much easier to pull the lock through and also just to crochet your clients hair in like it just makes everything so much easier so you guys can see how much more space there is in that loop I can fit my entire thumb in there originally with the loops you cannot and it is almost impossible to pull that lock through so I just want to show you guys that trick like I said I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do anyway because yeah like if not i just really i don't know the loop is really really small so i'm i'm thinking that this is what i was supposed to be doing from the jump typically if i didn't do that i would just try to pull on the loop and sometimes it does loosen up by just pulling it but guys that's annoying like i'm telling you if you guys can just cut that little band off it'll make it so much easier for you guys so this is actually my last lock and then we're gonna get into the finished look All right, guys, so here we are at the finished look. This girl is literally a doll. If you guys did not sit through this live video, make sure you guys check out the live video. I'll link it in the top right section for you guys because she is literally a character, one of my favorite kid clients. I'll actually be trying to complete this style um, on someone a little bit older too. Um, I kind of just play around with it as I go. And the picture that Kenley sent me for what she wanted for her hair literally looked exactly like this texture of locks. But I knew that I could use these and get it done quicker, which is why I love to do crochet locks instead. Because y'all know if you're a, if you've been on my channel, then you know that I literally hate wrapping locks just because it takes so much time. So doing it crochet style just makes it so much quicker, so much easier. Um, y'all, she's literally feeling herself on the live video. I also added some butterfly clips because she requested it. She wanted to have some butterflies in there, so. She was literally loving her hair, and that's literally the best feeling for me as a stylist. So make sure if you guys are feeling this look, you drop butterflies in the comment section down below for Kenley because I know she's going to be watching this video. Hey, Kenley girl. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you guys can be notified every single time I post, especially when I go live because it's always litty. And as always, guys, I will catch you guys in my next video. You don't know Panda. She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?